AI image generators have been taking the world by storm. Some specifically designed for making patterns. Let's take a deep dive and find out what are they good at and what are their limits and how do they compare to a non-AI solution such as Rapper. Hi there my dear friends, it's Michel here. I have been making videos about pattern design for over a year now and in this process I've gotten to know Rapper pretty well. Recently I heard about these new AI pattern generators. Today I will walk you through what I have discovered experimenting with these AI pattern generators. For this video I looked specifically at AI generators for making patterns. I did not look into general purpose AI generators such as DALL-E or Midjourney. Much of what I describe here applies to them too though. In this video I will share with you what I learned from playing around with them. I want to give you an honest look at what AI can offer and how it stacks up against a tool like Rapper. We are looking at 8 different aspects today. Interface, the kind of patterns you can make, visual style, the possibility to create pattern collections, export quality, commercial rights, the fun factor and pricing. Last but not least, we will explore how to combine AI and Rapper to get the best of both worlds. Ready to jump in? Let's go! 1. Interface With most AI pattern tools I tried, you simply get a text field to describe the patterns you want, which is called your prompt. And then you just hit the generate pattern button. Some are a little more advanced and have controls such as the image size or the option to create patterns in the style of another image. Once the pattern is generated, you can download it. What is cool is that most of these AI generators remember your past designs, so you can go back and download them anytime. Rapper on the other hand is a whole different ballgame. You always work with the source image and select part of that image to repeat based on a pattern template called a tiling. It includes dozens such templates. See more about it in this tiling video. It also has effects, 3D previews and a range of export options. Rapper also lets you organize and save your patterns in collections. 2. The kind of patterns you can make I've played around with AI and made some really neat patterns. As you can see, AI is definitely capable of generating attractive patterns. The generators I tried were all limited to square patterns. Within that constraint, they generated detailed and imaginative designs. There were also some issues I kept running into. The biggest one, having AI generate the kind of images I was asking for. Because the patterns take a while to generate, what starts off as fun exploration turns into a lot of tweaking of wording to try and generate what I'm after. Aside from the challenge of finding the right prompts, some generators even had trouble making the tiles seamless. And quite often, I would see weird details in the design that I would not want to have in work I would sell. In summary, it felt easy to create designs that look great at first sight, but it took a lot more effort to get it to satisfactory quality for commercial use. Patterns in Rapper are based on geometry, so when it comes to compositions of figurative elements, it cannot match the AI generators. On the other hand, it excels at making abstract motifs and intricate geometric designs, producing perfectly repeating designs in a wide range of tilings because it draws directly from the source image you provide. It can produce very clean and production ready designs. Another unique patterning option is having your design change shape over a large surface, called the metamorphosis effect. It is clear that both AI generators and Rapper have their own strengths. But as someone who is used to Rapper, dealing with the unpredictability and sometimes lower quality of these AI patterns can be a little bit of a drag. I am expecting that they will improve on this in the future. 3. Visual Style When using AI, it is possible to describe a style in a prompt. However, just like producing the subject, it is like rolling the dice. Let's take this example. It made many more boats than I asked for. It wasn't coloring the right things with the right colors. It didn't really capture the crayon style I was hoping for. And it was adding elements like vegetation that seemed totally out of place. When creating a pattern in Rapper, the first step would always be to pick a sword image. Here you are already making a very intentional choice 
that determines the look and feel of any pattern you will create. Of course, it takes effort to find or pick a swords image with the right style. But I feel it's more controlled and predictable than using rhythm prompts. 4. Generating Pattern Collections On the topic of style, when you are creating a group of patterns that are meant to go together, creating a unified style is crucial. Because the output of AI generators can change drastically with small changes in prompts, I found it challenging to create a set of patterns that truly fitted together. Here is an example where I tried to give a detailed description of a pattern with only changes of shape, but it changed the aesthetics between patterns quite a bit. Maybe other people have had more success with this than me, but in my experience, it wasn't easy to get a consistent look through multiple patterns. This is an area where I felt rapper made me feel in control early on. When you are designing a range of patterns based on one swords image, a shared style is quite literally built in. If you are curious about how to blend different patterns into a harmonious collection, check out my video about pattern collections. 5. Export quality and resolution In whatever way you plan to use your patterns, image quality and resolution are important. For example, if you are into print-on-demand, platforms often have specific requirements for image dimension, resolution and DPI. I was surprised to see most AI generators have few export options, often just two or three predefined sizes. Upscaling to 2000 or 4000 pixels was possible with some, though often at a fairly steep price, which I'll talk about in a bit. It seems that post-processing in other graphics software will often be necessary with these AI-generated images. I find that Rapper really shines in this area. Its export options are quite similar to what you'd find in Photoshop or other professional graphic tools, giving you a lot of control to export as needed. A few AI generators I tested didn't even deliver seamless patterns, which was disappointing for a paid service. Although with others it works fine, my recommendation is to do some testing and make sure the service you are using is living up to your standards before paying for it. If you are curious about the whole exporting process in Rapper, I've got a video all about that. Check it out for more details. 6. Commercial rights, copyright and print on demand. There is a legal debate raging whether you can actually own images you generated with AI. For example, Recently, a judge in the US ruled that you cannot claim copyrights on these generated images. This could open doors for other people legally using your creations for their own commercial purposes. At the same time, content creators as big as the New York Times are suing AI businesses for using their copyrighted materials in their AI models. As it stands, it will be hard to say where the legalization will land, so stay informed on where things are going. Those things aside, for those of you who are using print-on-demand platforms like Amazon KDP, Society6 and Etsy, there is more to consider. These sites may restrict AI content and ask you to mark your content as AI generated or place it in a specific category on the website. Pay special attention to digital asset marketplaces such as Envado, which may only allow AI for preview mockups, but not the actual designs that you are selling. Rapper is not based on AI, but on geometric templates. This means you are remixing a single image, not a database of millions. So things are a lot simpler. If you made or own the source image, you can use the patterns you made with Rapper without any restrictions. Rapper also has a built-in image library, and it's possible to import images from free image websites such as rawpixel.com, pixabay.com or others. If the source image is coming from a third party, you need to check if you have the right to remix and use it commercially if you wish to. In case of doubts, it is always smart to contact the owner or creator of the source material to verify your use. 7. Fun I have to admit, initially I had a lot of fun generating these AI patterns. You think of some idea, write a prompt and see what comes out. You can get beautiful patterns quickly. But frankly, often the results were not exactly what I was hoping for. Getting to better results requires something that is known as prompt engineering. Learning the more effective keywords and do's and don'ts 
on how to instruct a computer to draw it for you. As a creative person at heart, this was fun for a bit, but soon got boring, as I missed the feeling of truly crafting something with my own hands. In Rapper, I find myself getting absorbed in the process. Besides making videos, I also help with the customer support. And I frequently receive emails from users saying things like I have had so much fun with Rapper or it's an addictive app. I even saw messages of Rapper users saying they use the app to relax and deal with stress, which is so cool to hear. Is Rapper like drawing a pattern in Adobe Illustrator? No, it's more about rapidly exploring all the pattern possibilities hidden in an image. I feel it is like a visual feast where you are on the hunt for great patterns hiding in any sort image. Like AI, it is exploratory and iterative. But the big difference is there is no waiting around. You are in the driver's seat, setting the pace and direction of your creative journey. 8. Pricing Pricing can obviously make or break things, so let's look into that. The pricings of AI generators are based on subscriptions or credits. With credits, you will spend a few cents per prompt, which seems affordable at first glance. But keep in mind you will often generate multiple images in one go. And once you go for high resolution, the cost can escalate rapidly. You may jump from 1 to 5 or even 10 credits. I would prefer not to have my creations made public for others to view and download. Pattern.ai is pretty nice. However, I needed to upgrade to a $60 account to keep my designs private, which is pricey for sure. I've played around with some cheaper AI pattern generators, but I wasn't really satisfied with the output. I didn't experiment enough to call them out each individually, but be aware that it's a bit of a wild west out there and quality can vary a lot. So what about Rapper? You can create as many patterns as you want for $12.99 per month or $9.99 when paid annually. There are no limits to export size and all your work is private. Nothing is made public. You can try the full product for free for two weeks so you know what you're buying before you commit. The best of both worlds. Lastly, I want to mention that it is possible to combine AI pattern generators and wrapper to get the best of both worlds. For these examples, I made some beautiful AI generated patterns and used Rapper to repattern them and turn them into beautiful geometric shapes. This also enabled me to turn one AI pattern into a coherent pattern collection. We'll make a separate video about this soon and post the link here. And that wraps it up my friends. AI generators and Rapper both have their own unique strengths. Keep in mind, AI is still in the early stages. It is going to be exciting to see how it will develop in the upcoming months and years. For now, there are noticeable limitations when it comes to control, export options and commercial rights. But what keeps me coming back to Rapper is fun. It is so fast and inspiring to work with. Rather than instructing a robot, it feels that I am in control. I am the creator of the pattern. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the little bell icon and leave us a message in the comment section down below. As always, I wish you an amazing day. Stay creative, stay inspired and happy patterning my dear friend.